Hi, Peter Billis here again, and I've got Lucien Gordon is going to join us and talk about his experience with a certificate in snow sport instruction that he did back in 2001 and 2002. And I don't think it's just because he uh, had to repeat the year. He's, he can tell us more about that. Thanks. Hi, Lucien. Thanks for joining us. Hey, I just uh, was wondering what made you do the program initially? Um, well, it probably wasn't a natural choice. Uh, I was a acad bit of an academic student. Um, at school, and uh, you can say nerd if you want to. Uh, I was a sporty person who could achieve okay grades. Good. Um, the type of person the teachers wanted to go to university and do all of that. Um, I finished, or I was halfway through seventh form, or my last year of high school, when I got less focused uh, than I probably could have been, and I could tell university wasn't going to be the best place for me to be at that time. Uh, I found out about snow sports instruction course and at the time I was surf lifeguard and thought well oh, there's a winter job I can do instead um, offset my summer job and I came down and ended up doing it twice it was so good yeah perfect now the first time you did it was in the snowboard program is that right it was yes yeah and then you came back the following year to do the ski side I did yeah good. I uh, had well how can you beat being in Wanaka on a student loan uh, nice and uh, I was wasn't a skier, I actually started out snowboarding, um, but you saw the benefits and, and having both and also of course it's so good, why not? Cool, sounds good. It probably meant you got a lot more work that way in both disciplines, being able to teach in both, so that'd be right? Um, it has, yeah, yeah, and it's allowed me to kind of try a large variety of things within the snow sports uh, industry, so it's been good. Cool. So since you graduated out of the program, which is way back when, uh, what have you gone on to do? Uh, well, I didn't actually make it back to university full time, but I've just yeah. actually started <laughs> doing that in the background while I'm still in the snow sports. Uh, I went to Winter Park in Colorado uh, to go and enjoy North America's great snow. Uh, I taught snowboarding there learned how to ski the next year as a, doing the course again. I uh, went back to back between teaching snowboarding and skiing at Cadrona and Winter Park for a few years. Uh, I then changed resorts in North America and ended up in Park City because Utah has better snow than Colorado. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I've been there both. I, I, I feel there, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, in that time I've spent, I've been teaching snowboarding and skiing. Uh, I dabbled a little bit in coaching freestyle snowboarding and coaching freestyle skiing uh -huh. both here and in the states. Uh, I am now an instructor training program much like the course I started on, well in fact the course I started on uh, training people how to get into instruction uh, and also an examiner for Snowboard Instruction New Zealand. Right. Uh, S bins, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So not only are you training the folks for those exams, but you're an examiner on those exams. So you've got a pretty good idea what the level is uh, yeah. to be assessed at, which is a real yeah. bonus for being on this program. Great. So beyond the uh, snow sport instruction side and uh, the training friends at SIA, uh, now you're looking at uh, stretching your wings and looking back and grabbing some of those academic quals and pushing on into some quantity surveying. Is that what you're looking at now? Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Um, I guess this industry allows a bit of a fair bit of downtime between seasons, and uh, I've actually found it quite easy to get into doing a bit of study on the side. So I'm doing a diploma in quantity surveying right now. Uh, also, um, a bachelor in business studies as as on the side I've just started. So maybe one day I will have that qualification in the background. Yeah, perfect. And uh, those are both things that you'll be able to use and stay in the snow business, which is one of the things uh, a lot of us have uh, strived to do over the years. So good yeah. on you. Probably the, um, the best things that I kind of enjoyed on the course was just how thorough it was. It take because I did the instruction course, they spend a lot of time slowly building up your skills, building up your knowledge of the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I graduated, I have had very, very good knowledge of the industry, which I didn't realize at the time, but having traveled and gaining experience. Looking uh, at it retrospectively, it, actually. It was amazing yeah. how much they could actually cover within one, one course. So Lucy, and what were some of the things that you took away from the course that you've used in your uh, endeavor since? Uh, I've been quite a lot of things actually. Uh, 
for me, a big part of the thing was communication. Uh, I've started this for the more the athlete side of things and trying to get good at, at snowboarding. Uh, but I've ended up pretty much learning more about communication and more about dealing with people and, and how to deal with them than I have actually this snowboarding. Uh, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the best part of it is you can kind of just chat with your mates, chat with your friends and, and you learn how to read them and you know what's going on and you become just a really good friend, help them out um, and that's been awesome. I never would have got that without the course. Uh, another thing is just the people that you meet uh, over the years of teaching. I've been lucky enough to teach movie stars, some of the most successful business people uh, out there and they all kind of give you these little nuggets of information or they just become your friends and, and chat away and they'd help you out with anything and the contacts that you make are, are you certainly I wouldn't have got them if just with the, the degrees that I were looking at is a pretty amazing little bonus on the side. Yeah I think part of that is too you following your heart and doing what you really enjoy doing and that comes across when you actually communicate with those people uh, mm. that you're being true to yourself, being honest and doing something you enjoy and as a result people like being surrounded by people that enjoy what they're doing so good on you. Hey thanks a lot for your time Lucien and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the course. Not a problem thank you Pete. Okay take care Mac.